Hello and welcome back to Immortal News. In today's video we'll be sharing important updates about 14 individuals who have passed away today, August 4th and in recent days. Special tributes to honor these legends will be featured later in the broadcast. In addition to this we'll be discussing the health update about Celine Dion. We will also give heartwarming news about Taylor Swift and the daughter of Kobe Bryant. Before we delve into these stories, we request a moment of your time. If you value our tributes and news, please show your support by giving this video a like. Each like encourages us to deliver more news, more updates, and more of the content you love. We're grateful for your continued support. Now without further ado, let's begin with our stories. Number 14. Mark Margolis, a silent force in Breaking Bad dies at 83. Mark Margolis, a silent force in Breaking Bad dies at 83. Mark Margolis, best known for his compelling role as the silent yet formidable ex-drug lord Hector Salamanca in the iconic series Breaking Bad and its prequel Better Call Saul, passed away at the age of 83 on August 4, 2023 in Manhattan. His death was confirmed by his son, Morgan Margolis, stating it was due to a brief illness. Throughout his career, Margolis accumulated over 160 credits in films and television shows. He gained early recognition with significant roles in Brian De Palma's Scarface, 1983, and the Jim Carrey comedy Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, 1994. Furthermore, Margolis became a frequent collaborator of acclaimed director Darren Aronofsky, appearing in his films such as Pie, 1998, Requiem for a Dream, 2000, The Fountain, 2006, The Wrestler, 2008, Black Swan, 2010, and Noah, 2014. However, Margolis's most distinguished role came from Vince Gilligan's critically acclaimed series Breaking Bad and its prequel Better Call Saul, where he portrayed the formidable Hector Salamanca. His portrayal of the nonverbal character earned him an Emmy nomination in 2012 for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Dramatic Series. Despite his character's inability to speak or walk, Margolis was able to convey a palpable sense of menace and power, becoming a scene stealer from his wheelchair. With his death, the world of television and cinema has lost an actor capable of delivering powerful performances with minimal dialogue, using his eyes and facial expressions to communicate with audiences. His legacy in the entertainment industry will continue to inspire actors and creators for generations to come. Tributes to Mark Margolis Number 13. Wendell B., a resonant voice and lasting legacy in Southern R&B. Wendell B., Southern R&B musician, passed away at his residence in Los Angeles on August 3rd. His battle with cancer, which he fought bravely while continually trying to create new music for his fans, came to an end, leaving his admirers and the music world in shock. Wendell B. made his debut in the early 1990s and quickly became a mainstay in commercial R&B, with a distinct voice influenced by the likes of Luther Vandross, Will Downing, Barry White, and Bobby Womack. Hailing from St. Louis, Missouri, Wendell's blues-infused R&B stylings garnered him a dedicated fan base that followed his journey over nearly three decades of music production. His untimely passing has sparked an outpouring of tributes and condolences from fans, fellow musicians, and friends alike. Wendell B.'s contribution to the world of R&B was significant, and his powerful music continues to resonate and inspire, preserving his enduring legacy. Despite his departure from the world, Wendell's music will keep him alive in the hearts of his fans. His dedication and passion for his craft will continue to influence future generations of R&B musicians. 
The legend of Wendell B. will be forever etched in the annals of R&B music. Tributes to Wendell B. Number 12. Sherry Combs Johnson. A remarkable equestrian legacy in Rodeo Sherry Combs. Johnson, per Rodeo Hall of Famer, who rode her way into the hearts of many and left an indelible mark on the world of rodeo, passed away on August 2nd after a valiant battle with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The 84-year-old equestrian was at the Duncan Regional Hospital in her home state of Oklahoma. Johnson, with her world champion horse Star Plaudit Red and sister Florence Ure, completed a unique family trifecta in the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. With a career spanning four decades, she had 12 National Finals Rodeos qualifications to her credit, beginning with the inaugural GRA Finals in 1959 and ending in Las Vegas in 1991. Her prowess saw her clinch the WPRA world title in the all-around category in 1961. The highlight of her illustrious career, however, was in 1962 when she won the Barrel Racing World title aboard Red. A testament to her talent, she also trained six horses that carried her to the NFR and three that carried other competitors. Beyond her sporting achievements, Johnson served the WPRA as a board member from 1963 to 1971, including a stint as the vice president. Her numerous accolades include the Coca-Cola Woman of the Year in 1997 and induction into the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in 2005. Sherry Combs Johnson's legacy in the rodeo is irreplaceable, and her impact on the sport will continue to resonate. Tributes to Sherry Combs Johnson Number 11 Peter Dixon, a legendary figure in International Rugby Union Peter Dixon an eminent figure in international rugby, left behind an unforgettable legacy following his death on August 3rd. Born on April 30, 1944, in Keeley, West Yorkshire, England, Dixon passed away at the age of 79 in Cumbria, England. Throughout his sports career, Dixon demonstrated exceptional skills and dedication. An alumnus of Durham and Oxford Universities, he represented Oxford University RFC in four consecutive varsity matches, from 1967 to 1970. Dixon played for the British and Irish Lions and was an England international player, showcasing remarkable prowess on the field. Significantly, Dixon was part of the Northwest Counties team that in 1972 became the first regional team to defeat a New Zealand All Blacks touring team. He was also part of the North of England provincial team that triumphed over the All Blacks in 1979. Beyond rugby, Dixon contributed to academia by working in overseas development at Durham University and at the University of Transkei, Institute of Adult Education. Dixon's immense contributions to the sport of rugby and to education are remembered with admiration and gratitude. His impact on the field and in the academic world will forever resonate in the hearts of many. Tributes to Peter Dixon Number 10. Roberto Rodriguez, a relentless advocate for justice and chronicler of Chicano life. Roberto Rodriguez, one of the most significant voices in Chicano literature, passed away on August 1st at age 69 due to heart failure. Rodriguez was a pioneering figure who worked tirelessly to shed light on Chicano issues and combat injustice. In 1979, Rodriguez turned a traumatic incident of police brutality against him into a lifelong fight for justice, culminating in a successful lawsuit that saw his civil and First Amendment rights vindicated. His indomitable spirit led him to utilize the compensation to launch a bilingual magazine, further extending his advocacy. Rodriguez's accomplishments span a multitude of genres. He penned poems, books, and co-wrote a nationally syndicated column with his wife, Patricia Gonzalez. 
bringing the complex realities of Chicano life to a broad audience. He was a persistent champion for the rights and issues of his community, consistently amplifying the voices of those unheard. Born in Mexico and brought to the U.S. as a child, Rodriguez highlighted the struggles and triumphs of immigrant life. His unwavering commitment to justice, truth, and humanity underscored all his writings and teachings. Rodriguez's unique voice and impactful works will remain a beacon of hope and strength, echoing his message of justice, equality, and human rights. His significant contributions to Chicano literature and his relentless fight for justice have left an indelible mark. Tributes to Roberto Rodriguez Number 9. Michael Boyd, a maestro of the theater world. Michael Boyd, renowned theater director whose career transcended borders and disciplines, has passed away after a courageous battle with cancer on August 4th at the age of 68. Boyd's journey took him from training in Moscow to revered artistic directorships at the Tron Theater, Glasgow, and the Royal Shakespeare Company, a position he held from 2002 until 2012. During his tenure at the RSC, Boyd oversaw a period of radical transformation, leading the company forward by looking back to its foundational principles. The tireless director orchestrated a rebirth of the Royal Shakespeare Theatre, creating a more intimate space that fostered a fresh dynamic between actor and audience. Under his direction, the company realized numerous successes, including Matilda the Musical, a production that continues to provide financial stability. Boyd's extraordinary commitment to fostering a genuine ensemble within the RSC, his dedication to promoting education, and his global vision propelled the company to international prominence. He was widely respected for his tenacity, honesty, and kindness, inspiring love, loyalty, and admiration from those he worked with. Beyond his professional achievements, Boyd was also a beloved family man, nurturing and loving his family with the same passion he brought to the theater. Michael Boyd have poured in from the global theater community, lauding his extraordinary contribution to the art form. His impact on the world of theater was profound, and his legacy will continue to resonate on stages around the world. Tributes to Michael Boyd. Number 8. Arthur Blanche, an enduring voice of Australian country music. Arthur Blanche, a titan of Australian country music, passed away on July 26, at the age of 94. Born in Wallen, near Tamworth, New South Wales, to sheep farming parents, Blanche's journey into music began in the late 1940s with local talent contests. His win at Australia's Amateur Hour in 1949 launched him to national fame and set the stage for a career spanning over seven decades. Blanche, father to country singer Jewel Blanche, was renowned for his family collaborations. In 1962, the Blanche family, including Blanche's wife, Berice Collins, signed with W&G label in Melbourne, cementing their reputation for outstanding performances and recordings. They moved to the United States in 1968, where they graced stages including the revered Grand Ole Opry, Success in the U.S. came for Blanche in the late 1970s, with hits like The Little Man's Got the Biggest Smile and Maybe I'll Cry Over You. The family returned to Australia in 1980, and Blanche's contributions to country music continued to be recognized with multiple golden guitars at the Country Music Awards of Australia in 1982, 1983, 1984, and 1985. Besides his stellar music career, Blanche co-wrote a television special, The Lady and the Cowboy, with his daughter Jewel, which aired in Australia and the United States. In 2004, Arthur and his wife Berice published a biographical book, Woolen One, The Story of the Blanche Family. Blanche's legacy was recognized with his induction into the Australian role of renown in 2001 and the Tamworth Songwriters Association Award in 2007. His life and career leave an indelible mark on the world of country music. Tributes to Arthur Blanche.
Number 7. Bruno Miali, a legendary figure in the history of Italian cycling. Bruno Miali, an acclaimed cyclist and one of the most prominent athletes from the province of Arezzo. Miali passed away in his home in Malva Valdarno on August 3rd, aged 85. His career highlights include victories in esteemed races, transitioning into professional cycling in 1961 until his retirement in 1969. His greatest professional achievements encompass the Italian Championship win in 1963 and an impressive five-day stretch as the Giro d'Italia's pink jersey holder in 1965, during which he won three stages. Among his victories were two Giri del Lazio, Giro dell'Emilia, Giro di Romagna, the GP Camaiore, and the Trofeo Cunier. He also represented Italy in the 1964 and 1965 World Championships. Mayali was revered as a strong all-rounder in the field, equally capable on flat and moderate climbs, and was known for his kindness. He represented the peak of the Mayali cycling dynasty. Despite personal tragedies, including the loss of a young daughter, Miali and his wife persevered, embodying the strength and resilience he was known for on the track. Bruno Miali's legacy continues to inspire generations of cyclists. Tributes to Bruno Miali. Number 6. Tane Norton a pillar of New Zealand rugby and a lasting legacy in the sport Rangitain, Will Tain Norton, iconic figure, passed away at 81 in Christchurch on August 4th. As a former All Blacks captain, Norton leaves behind a substantial legacy, including leading the team to a three, one series victory over the British and Irish Lions in 1977, his final test rugby season. Tain Norton's journey to becoming an All Blacks legend began in 1961, with the Methven Club for Mid-Canterbury. After a move to Christchurch and 10 years of consistent performances, he made his All Blacks debut against the 1971 British and Irish Lions, marking the start of a distinguished international career that included 27 consecutive test appearances. His leadership and influence culminated in the series win over the 1977 Lions. Norton was instrumental in revamping New Zealand's scrummaging drawing from his experience and the tough competition he faced, particularly from Northern English teams. After retiring in 1977, Norton remained involved with rugby, actively contributing to its administration. He was the president of New Zealand Rugby in 2003-04 and received numerous awards, including the Steinlegger Silver Salver for outstanding service to rugby in 2008. In 2006, he was awarded the New Zealand Order of Merit for his service to rugby. Tane Norton's death marks the end of an era, but his remarkable contributions to New Zealand rugby and the sport at large will continue to be celebrated and remembered. His leadership, sportsmanship, and dedication to the game form a lasting legacy that will inspire future generations. Tributes to Tane Norton. Number 5. Ramon Lobo, a fearless journalist and luminary in international reporting. Ramon Lobo, renowned Spanish-Venezuelan journalist, a stalwart voice in international reporting, passed away from lung cancer at the age of 68 on August 2nd. With a Spanish father and an English mother, Lobo was a veritable globetrotter whose life and career spanned continents. Born in Venezuela, Lobo moved to Spain in 1960 where he launched his journalism career following his graduation from Complutense University of Madrid. Beginning his career in 1975, he worked for various media outlets before settling in at Spanish newspaper El Pai in 1992. For two decades, he served as editor of the international section, reporting from conflict zones around the world including Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Iraq, Rwanda, and the Philippines. In 2001, Lobo's dedication to fearless and insightful reporting was recognized when he received the Cirilo Rodriguez Journalism Award. 
His voice remained influential even after his tenure at El País ended in 2012. He continued to provide his insights to readers through weekly contributions to El Periódico de Catalunya, and in 2018, he returned to his journalistic home, El País. Ramon Lobo's tireless pursuit of the truth, his uncanny ability to weave engaging narratives out of complex international events, and his unyielding courage in the face of global conflicts leave a lasting legacy in the field of journalism. Tributes to Ramon Lobo Number 4. Gilles Perrault, an influential writer and crusader for justice. Gilles Perrault, one of its most poignant and influential voices and writer, died of a heart attack at the age of 92 on August 3rd. Perrault was renowned for his gripping narrative and investigative writing, particularly exemplified in The Red Sweater, written in 1978. The Red Sweater was a deep dive into the infamous case of Christian Ranucci, the second last person to be executed in France. The book suggested that Renucci might have been wrongfully convicted, contributing significantly to the debate leading to the abolition of the death penalty in France in the late 1970s. Before his writing career, Perrault was a practicing lawyer under the name Jacques Peyrolles. After five years in the bar, he chose the pen over the court, becoming a prolific writer, producing close to a hundred novels. His literary contributions were marked by a strong commitment to justice and human rights. Perrault's tireless advocacy, indelible influence, and powerful narratives leave a profound legacy. Tributes to Gilles Perrault Number 3. Conrad Klapek, a unique visionary and a lasting legacy in art. Conrad Klapek, pioneering artist, celebrated for his distinctive machine-themed paintings, passed away at the age of 88 on July 30th, following a long illness. Klapek, a meticulous observer and a precise draftsman, made a name for himself with his paradoxical depictions of machines, giving them an unusual twist, breathing life and character into them. Born in Dusseldorf in 1935, Klapek's journey into art was nurtured by his parents, both art historians. At the Dusseldorf Art Academy in 1954, he defied the traditional still-life paintings and instead meticulously painted a typewriter, a move that marked his distinctive style. His unique take on machines, such as typewriters and sewing machines, earned him a reputation as a German economic miracle painter. His ability to imbue inanimate machines with personality and narrative captured the attention of André Breton, the renowned art theorist and writer, who became a paternal friend to Klapek. In his later years, Klapek served as a professor at the Dusseldorf Art Academy from 1997, imparting his knowledge and passion to younger generations. His art also took a new direction, focusing primarily on figures after decades of machine paintings. Klapek's innovative style and the unique perspective he brought to his art has left a lasting legacy in the world of art. His work challenged traditional norms, encouraging viewers to see the world through his unique lens, an impact that will undoubtedly continue to inspire future generations. Tributes to Conrad Klapek Celine Dion, 55-year-old Grammy-winning artist, continues to battle stiff person syndrome, a rare neurological condition. Her sister Claudette highlighted the severity of the disease's impact on Dion's life and performance capabilities. Claudette revealed that their sister Linda moved in to support Dion, who is learning more about her condition from leading experts. Despite canceling her world tour due to health concerns, Dion remains hopeful and is not giving up on returning to the stage. At Taylor Swift's Eras Tour concert, Vanessa Bryant and her daughters, including Bianca, 
attended to honor the memory of late husband Kobe Bryant and daughter Gigi. Vanessa wore a custom denim jacket featuring a photograph of Kobe and Swift, along with lyrics from Swift's song, Wildest Dreams. During the concert, Swift shared a poignant moment with Bianca, giving her a hug. The Bryant family expressed their love for Swift on Instagram, revealing they have been longtime fans. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 2. Sam Gooden, a resonating voice in R&B and soul. Sam Gooden, legendary R&B musician, one of the founding members of the influential R&B and soul group The Impressions, has died at 87 on August 4, 2022. Gooden's passing comes after a long period of health struggles, including breathing difficulties and kidney problems. Forming the impressions in 1958 alongside Jerry Butler, Curtis Mayfield, and brothers Richard and Arthur Brooks, Gooden remained a steadfast member of the band throughout its evolution. Despite the departure of various founding members, Gooden stayed with the impressions until their disbandment in 1981. With 20 studio albums to their credit, the impressions created an enduring musical legacy. Their self-titled debut arrived in 1963, and their last album, Fan the Fire, was released in 1981. The group enjoyed significant chart success with the 1964 album, Keep On Pushing, and the following year's People Get Ready, which topped the US R&B chart. Gooden's enduring impact on R&B and soul music is marked by his tenacity and commitment to his craft. His final moments were spent surrounded by family in his hometown of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Tributes to Sam Gooden. Number 1. J.R. Richard, a dominating force in Major League Baseball cut short. J.E. Richard, flame-throwing right-handed pitcher, who played a formidable role for the Houston Astros in the 1970s, passed away at the age of 71 on August 4, 2021. Known for his intimidating presence on the mound and his searing fastball, Richard was a dominating force in baseball until a stroke prematurely ended his career in 1980. Standing at 6 foot 8, Richard was a tower of power whose fastball often exceeded 100 miles per hour. His terrifying delivery was further accentuated by his exceptionally long stride toward home plate. Richard was the Astros' crown jewel from 1975 to 1979, during which he won 74 games and led baseball in strikeouts twice. Richard's career was off to an impressive start in 1980 until a stroke suddenly sidelined him, ending an impressive career that was just reaching its peak. The stroke, which occurred while he was playing catch at the Astrodome, followed earlier signs of fatigue in his throwing arm that had been largely dismissed. James Rodney Richard rose to prominence from his high school years, turning down numerous college scholarships to play basketball and joining the Astros second overall in Major League Baseball's amateur draft. After retiring, Richard faced numerous hardships, including financial loss and homelessness. Eventually, he became a minister at a church using his experiences to help the homeless and teach baseball to children. His dominant career, abrupt end, and eventual resilience stand as a testament to his indomitable spirit. Tributes to J.R. Richard. Thank you for joining us today. As we end this segment, we encourage you to watch our special tribute video, honoring the stars we tragically lost in July. It's a testament to their incredible talents and indelible impacts. Their contributions have forever shaped the world, and though they are no longer with us, their legacy will shine brightly in the hearts of many. Tune in and celebrate the life and work of these unforgettable personalities. Their stories remind us of the power of resilience and the beauty of passion. Thank you and stay strong.